Hey, what's going on guys? It's Misha back here with a brand new Spank video. And uh, today, well, as you can see, I was working on my bumper. For a while, this thing's been off. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my Instagram, um, I repainted this B. But as you can kind of tell, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's not the best job. I sanded it like pretty poorly and I forgot to do a step that was pretty important, but you know, besides that fact, we're just uh, doing some touch-up sanding over here. Uh, we're going to get that on very soon. But what we're going to be working on instead of that today is we got these bad boys right here. Now, uh, what these are, are uh, link stabilizers. And uh, these are actually meant for, I think, some Audi. Either like, you know, probably an S5 or Q5 or s4 s3 don't know anyways i got these on uh from redline reason why i picked these ones out of anything else and like you know an oem version for example is because they're a lot cheaper and these ones are adjustable um if you guys can see here well this is supposed to be able to uh to turn and you can undo it for example here you can spin this any way you want then have this to lock it down make sure it doesn't move but that means that this can basically go on any car and uh we're gonna look at my old ones in a second once we pull the car in and we'll compare them to this one and how those ones look uh one thing i will say right now is that the ball joints look fairly similar this uh ball joint is probably slightly smaller than or about the same size as the other one but yeah so let me just get this out of the way, get the car in, and uh, yeah. So if we look in here, we can see that my current link stabilizer is about to fall off. So this is while I was driving for just about a day, um, no more than an hour, but you know, that could have been something bad. Um, so yeah, we got to get that off. Looks like the lower one is probably the same. And yeah, so here I just took out the old one. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that for me, I had 17 millimeter socket that I needed to use for the nut. Um, and for you guys, it might be slightly different, but I'm pretty sure these are OEM spec. Um, but the reason why I'm saying I'm not sure is because I have bought these from eBay as a replacement for my OEM ones. So um usually the oem ones after about 15 years are pretty much done so uh these ones are you know they're clearly made of plastic right here from the ball joint uh th this rubber used to not be this uh i guess bloated before um and uh the nut itself strip but i think that could have been my fault but comparing that to this here we can see a significant difference in the size of the main like band itself. So uh, I have bent one of these once before, an OEM one, like I said. Uh, so this should completely prevent that from ever happening again. So yeah, let's just line these up and see how they are uh, facing. Clearly one's this way and then one is down and then we'll just copy that and put it right back in. And boom, 
just like that we got it all on doesn't look like we got any clearance issues so we can uh, get both of the wheels back on and uh, get her on the road all right so we got the whole thing back together now we can just back her on up make sure everything's working now we can just turn the wheel, make sure it's not doing anything dumb. All right, let's check it out real quick. Looks like it's working pretty darn well. Looks like we're pretty clear down there too. Looking pretty darn good. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little mini tutorial on how to replace your sway bar links on the E39. It's a fairly simple process and it's very similar on any car uh, when it comes to the sway bar link itself. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go and enjoy this wonderful weather in this wonderful car. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.